So I am Yamamoto, that's the Graduate School of Science and Hiroshima University. Thank you very much for your kind presence today in your very busy schedule. I graduated from the uh, Hiroshima University. I am the last student of the older the, uh, building of the East Hiroshima buildings and then the uh, university development and then now I am working in this that's, uh, uh, the uh, institute. So first I'd like to explain about what is genome editing research. So along with my explanation of this or introduction of the genome editing and then uh, develop the opera project and also since that uh, we also for the purpose of the um, nurturing the human beings and also I'd like to show you some the overview. This is actually the uh, animal cells. So we have the, the, uh, 40 trillion or 37 trillion and in the cell we do have the nucle nuclei so which have all the genetic information. So the in, in your the body also so the 37 trillion cells and all the information are there and this is our the mascot doctor and from that the skin cells and then we can see this kind of long DNA can be seen in the DNA AZCT the four types of that's the basics are there and those information are actually is making our bodies. So the computer com uh, are making of zero and one, and the music is by music notes. But a life is AGCT. These four letters is actually making our body. So this is from the uh, microbe to the animals. So all these uh, living items are actually made up of these um, the DNAs. And we have that's um, to maintain, to, be, to build and to maintain a body. We do have the proteins, and based on those information, those are genomes. So this is all the information are called genomes. So genetic, the information are genomes, the human genome in the case of human. And if it is a, the dog, is a king genome. And if it's bacteria, it's going to be bacterial genomes. And this DNA, is actually is from DNA to RNA, which is uh, through the RNA, then it will create the proteins which will make our body. So HCT information, if there is any disorder, then this will be very difficult for our body. And then these proteins, so the enzyme is also, and also, so that all the, if there is any error in the, the information on DNA, then there will be a problem of this sickle cell disease. That this is actually, the T is replaced by A, and only by this minor changes, but then make us sick. So the change on the DNA, then are uh, they happening in our body? And actually, it's often happened to us. So natural, the uh, radiations, or maybe that's a genetic items, or maybe the oxidants. So that's the damage to DNA. And if we, the, uh, the cell tried to uh, correct it, then they make the mistake. But not only the bad things, so this kind of so the change of DNA and making use of that, we have created a good food. So in the center is actually origins, and outside is is actually is uh, what we are cut, uh, the cultivated. So the, due to the change of the DNA. And those are selected. And so these have been conducted for many years. And by repeating this for many years, then, then the change of the variety. But to make it more efficiently, to do the uh, revisions of the variety, to make the farmers happy, so then the general editing 
or maybe the uh, is going to be happened. So as we mentioned, if there is damage on DNA, there is any some changes occur, and that will be used for the improvement of the uh, uh, a variety of the products. So this is the uh, goal 20th century, which is actually is the the partial the uh, deletion of the genes, and then start to have a kind of resistance to disease. This is pear. So this is how it is made. So I never ate that pear thinking of this, but this is how it is. So this is how it is improved the variety by giving the damage to DNA and then that's will improve. So making use good in, in a good sense, then then the, in the cell, if there is a damage in the cell, try to repair the cell itself and then that will make the uh, good the characteristic is added on it. Then, to cleave the DNA, what can be? So then bacteria actually have it. So the bacteria have the various virus, and to prevent it, then the, uh, so try to uh, cleave that uh, virus. So they have a kind of the uh, protein to do that. And if you have such a protein to the restrictions, then if you can do that, only the target area, and give a little damage, and then change it, then this would be ideal station. However, look into it, then this is the E. coli enzyme and GAATTC. So six seconds we can see it. And this six seconds is recognized. And this is where we have to cleave. Then it comes and bring with the scissors and then cut it. But if it's only six seconds, and there are many, so then in our cell and the length of the DNA or amount of information is the uh, three the billion information of the AGCT. So six seconds, we can find any place. Then, so it's going to be a piece to piece. And, and then it is difficult to change only the target area. So the new system is artificial, the DNA the, uh, cleavage. So this has been created about 20,000 years. Then uh, it's, uh, it's, sorry, it's created in the year 2000. And then the Nobel Prize class, the technology has been started. So what is often said, the first and second and third generation, then anybody can make use of it. And using this technology, the various implications have been done in industry as well in the world. So if they do it, then they can do it, kind of the, uh, the uh, recombination of the gene. And some people are scared about it, but very more efficiently. And it can be done in the various vari variations. The genome editing is more upstream technology. In the, uh, the cell, the DNA can be cleaved, but it can be repaired as well. And actually, like this, this is the, uh, the uh, artificial, the enzymes uh, are called talents. And then if we put into the uh, cell, then only one pair will actually cleave the position. And if it is only the cut, then the repair function work, but the gene itself, without changing the, the sequence of the AGCT, but if they repeat many times, then sometimes it causes errors, and then so there is a little change occurred. So making use of this and then targeted the gene can be a, a break. So by changing it, then it's going to be the goal 21st century can be created. Or maybe there's a kind of mutation related to the disease can be changed as well. So target genes also can be transduction. So GFP, which is actually is a, a lighting, that's a, a, the genes, which is actually is found by the Japanese doctors. And so genome editing can replicate the, what is happening in natural or maybe just in uh, 
transduce the genes. So this, you can choose it one way or the other. So this is the radiations or then given the changes, but by the editing, uh, gene editing, you can do it only the target area when it's not needed, then it can be disappeared as well. It's very easy to use. So this kind of enzyme can be used. So in us, that's, uh, uh, the, we use that, we develop the talents which is relate, uh, originated from the plants. And then this will make a very good cleavage. So they call it uh, the platinum, we named it the platinum talent. So we can make it in three days. So, so it can be actually is provided to various the research in IPS it worked very fine I will skip the detail but to the targeted the genes and the cleave here and then this area can be uh, deleted and then the change so we can select the, the one that we're looking for, or maybe that the disease uh, model of the monkey can be also available to be made. So I myself is based, started with the basic science. So, so this kind of, this is a tree of the development, and I study this sea urchins. So I go to the satellite rivers, and then do in the genome editing of the sea urchin, not making it large, but how the cell will be created. So this is how I'm working, and then I can I could also have done that uh, genome editing to create a white sea urchin. I was so impressed with this, but my student didn't. So, so only me and also the uh, Dr. Noki Sakamoto were impressed. So I uh, started to do this uh, genome editing for to be applied on the sea urchins. So, so many things are actually created. So the CRISPR-Cas9, as you might have have heard of the name, but very easy to use. So anybody can use it. So then, but where they come from? This is actually come from bacteria. So the bacteria try to control the, the other object, and then the system are used by the human. So the bacteria infected the virus will uh, DNA, and then. The bacteria take into it, and then DNA inside. This is uh, the enemy, EZCT sequence. So to make it clear about it, and then reinfect it, then make use of it, then the cleave. So they can cut it. So make use of the system, then they can uh, actually change that the genes. So in 2012, the CRISPR Cas is actually reported, and then almost every day a new paper has been presented, like a several, ten, uh, several thousands every year, and they are very competitive using and making reports. And also genome editing, starting from the cell to the microbiology and plants, and also the, all the uh, living goods. Can, they can apply it. So the, in the micro, the biology, so using the um, generation above fuel producing algas, and then changing the variety, or in the area of the medicines, then disease models, but also they can use for the treatment gene therapy. It is actually, the, it, they also have studied the clinical trials in the China and the States, and also the change of that, uh, the variety. Then, so they're using the uh, by genome the editing, it is not that difficult to do, create this uh, useful variety variations. So, so they are succeeding in the uh, pig or the, uh, the uh, other fishes and so on. So, or they can accelerate the growth. So, making use of the uh, normal gene and accept that uh, targeted ones, so they can make that's uh, uh, sweet tomatoes, or maybe that uh, it, it stays long. So in a group, uh, the, when the potato have the, the uh, 
have the uh, poison when they do have the uh, buds. And so if we cut by the talon, and then the SGA is being reduced, and then they can make poisonless, the potato can be created. And by doing uh, the possibility of the treatment by general editing, not only creating the, um, the disease model, but also the tools of the genome editing, the first generating the zinc fingers are already being used, and then also CRISPR-Cas9 also can be used for the ophthalmology disease, which will be uh, soon started as a clinical study in the U.S. And also, if you are scared to use it into the body, then once you take the, uh, the uh, gene out, and so ex vivo genome editing, and then good one is selected to be used for the treatments as well. And so this is used for the cancer treatment or the treatment for AIDS as well. So in the case of HIV, then the infected patient, then they take the immune cells and doing the uh, genome editing and then create the non-infected gene to be re-transplanted. Uh, or maybe that's uh, using the genome editing and try to attack the uh, uh, cancer uh, cells. So that's a uh, cancer-specific targeted the uh, cell gene can be also created. And the, with the RPS, with the uh, genome editing, then the regenerative therapy can be done. So they can actually t uh, take the, uh, the organ out and then treat it and then back and put it back to the patients. So since I have been working on the sea urchin and then introducing the genome editing, and the other time that with the genome editing, uh, there are no much people are working on that. So I call all these uh, the researchers using the genome editing, and I created consortiums, and they're focusing on to the Japanese um, domestic correlations and supported by Hiroshima University, and then we created that uh, established in Japan Society for Genome Editing, and then to promote that application in the society. So I have also established this uh, innovation platform with enterprise and research and academias. So this is actually <coughs> the, the plural study and created the consortiums. <coughs> and then, um, then we try to have the core research work, which is applicable to uh, work with the uh, um, enterprises. So not only the simple uh, single university and also the single the, uh, enterprises, but actually is more like a consortium basis. And this is called operas. And, and so there's uh, uh, academic areas. So, so this is what we have established for the cultured cell. We can use the pitch method in which we are able to insert the genes in an effective manner. In order to enhance that, we have the node system which in which we are, with which we are able to collect the, the uh, related genes, then uh, we try to think about how we are able to do something new, something interesting. Then uh, we have different, the fluorescent the genes, and then with one the operation, we are able to have the three different ones with the different the, the fluorescent labeling into what's the same lo locus. So the, we are able to identify the, uh, or the change the uh, sites, the multiple sites uh, with, which are considered to be the causes of the problems. And then uh, we have the new model that can be seen here. And then uh, this is about the muscular uh, dystrophy. And then uh, this is what we have been working on. And the, uh, on the other hand, looking into what we are doing in, in internally, uh, we have activities shown here. Compared with the rest of the world, it is we are lagging behind. So that's what uh, the, uh, the situation at this moment in the uh, 
28th year of Heisei. Uh, this is, uh, there had been the survey, and then this is, the, uh, we have to say that we were behind UK, Europe, China, and South Korea. And we have to do something to tackle with this. And uh, this is another way of working uh, in Opera. And we have been uh, working in this field in the last 30 years or so. So the, this is a situation where the, we try to submit the the uh, patent application in uh, many ways in order to increase the number uh, and also increase the impact. And then the, uh, we try to make contribution for a Japan revitalization strategy, which aims for uh, the size of 60 billion, uh, uh, 600 trillion yen. And uh, genome editing would be one tool. And also, uh, the, this is the next generation sequencer. And the, uh, this is for the uh, elucidation of the, the uh, sequencing. And then, the, perhaps the, in several years, we will only have to spend 10 thousand yen for elucidation of the genome sequencing of one individual. And the market sizes can be seen here. And the, in 21, the, that will be 600 billion yen. And then in 24, that will be the 100 billion yen. So we try to make sure that people will be able to deal with this. So as I just said, we have Opera, Opera which is the uh, program on open innovation platform with enterprises, research, and academia. Uh, we have the Consortium with the uh, 10 institutions and 23 companies, and then the Matsuda and the, the, the nanoclobosis genome, well, excuse me, the, we have Toko, uh, Tokyo Institute of Technology, which have been able to elucidate the, uh, this kind of the uh, new uh, the modification. And so we have been working on it uh, in collaboration with them. Bas this is as a basis, we try to work on the establishment of the human resources. And this is what we try to do in the WISE program. And so this is called the, the, the developmental program for the genome editing. And so the, for the uh, WISE program, this project leads the creation and application of new knowledge, create values that guide new generation and develop human resources who challenge social issues and make an innovation. We believe that uh, this part of the human resources development is in line with their their, uh, their goals. So what we try to do is to uh, commercialize our genome editing technology, and we try to work closely with the entities who are willing to make the, the uh, collaboration. And we have been the collaborating with the IPS, the Hiroshima, and also the, uh, uh, we, have the, we collaborate with the program on the uh, develop in open innovation platform with enterprises and the Research Institute and Academia, and also the Frontier Development Program for Genome Editing in Hiroshima. And so uh, the, the, it, it is possible to have uh, the various technologies in various fields uh, from the medicine and from the zoology and others. And we have the, uh, these people, uh, the, the, the many people who study at the Opera Project would go abroad to study in these countries. So uh, what we try to do is to collaborate with Opera so that it is possible to create human resources which will be able to uh, prosper in this arena. And then what we try to do, uh, the, these are the program members and the research themes, development of new technology, generation of cell and animal, breeding of chicken, development of biofuel, and industrialization, which is lagging behind in Japan. We uh, try to promote the support for the uh, genome, re the editing related to the venture companies or the startup companies. I am personally involved with this. And so the theme is quite large. It is to solve the issues that humankind faces today. So it's certainly this is the major issue that we face with, but we are now working on the promotion of the OPRA program and the WISE program. About the program overview, uh, we have we collaborate with the OPRA participating companies. We have internship with them. We send our students to them. 
So that's how we were able to work on this. And then the, uh, this way, uh, they are able to uh, learn from case studies and learn the skills required to start a business. And then also at the same time, they are able to learn the research ethics required for genetic genome editing. The, uh, there have been uh, the uh, incident in China, uh, which made the, uh, the wrongdoing for the genome editing. So it is important to make sure that the students will be able to learn about the ethics required for genome editing. And then, as I said, we have life science course and medical courses. And so the, uh, uh, some people might want to work on the actual commercialization of life science and also the uh, creation of the, uh, the model products and the model animals would be taken care of in the medical course. So uh, we are thinking of collaborating with actual practitioners. And the most important is that the, uh, we create the uh, realized sense of speed on the front line of research, and also uh, we try to make sure the things will be translated into actual commercialization. And for that purpose, we have a center. We will have a center, and Opera is already there. And also in the IT circ, the IBS, the also uh, with the Isaira, Kyoto University, and we make sure that they will be able to collaborate with us so that they, uh, we are able to develop people. We have brochures only in Japanese, but the uh, in the, at the, the international the exchanges, uh, we you might want to take a look at the comments by the President Ochi. So the brochure is already there. So we'd like you to pick, uh, the, 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 the pick up the copy and then about the uh, application uh, of the, uh, the students. Uh, it is in the midst of this process. The, in two days, uh, we try to make sure that we have the, the uh, sufficient number of students. Uh, this here, uh, the, I'd like to express my sincere appreciation to the doctoral students and the undergraduate students. We have uh, about 30 people. And so uh, the genome, the editing is something that would, be, would come out from Hiroshima University. And the ICCD hope that the, with the collaboration with, between WISE and OPERA, we'd like to make sure that our level of expertise and the research capability would be enhanced. We'd like to ask for your continued support. With that, I'd like to close, like to close my presentation. Thank you very much for your attention.